For what purpose does the gentleman from Florida rise? To submit a name for nomination for the position of Speaker of the House. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My colleague from California, Mr. Garcia, knows the incredibly high regard I hold him in. He is a patriot. I deeply, deeply admire him. But I must take some exception with some of the comments he made in his nomination of Mr. McCarthy. First, he said that Mr. McCarthy has earned the position. You only earn the position of Speaker of the House if you can get the votes. Mr. McCarthy doesn't have the votes today. He will not have the votes tomorrow, and he will not have the votes next week, next month, next year. And so one must wonder, Madam Clerk, is this an exercise in vanity for someone who has done the math, taken the counts, and is putting this institution through something that absolutely is avoidable? My colleague, Mr. Garcia, did not say this, but many of my other Republican colleagues have. They believe that Mr. McCarthy has earned the position of Speaker of the House because he raised half a billion dollars to get Republicans elected. not to engage in personalities against other members of the House. Several believe that one earns the position of Speaker by raising enormous sums of money, and there is no doubt that the individual that was nominated by Mr. Garcia is the LeBron James of special interest fundraising in this town. There is nobody better, but I would suggest that there are qualifications for speaker that are far more important. There are attributes that are far more important. Jim Jordan has those, and I am submitting his name for nomination at this time. I heard my colleague from California, Mr. Garcia, say that we seek pure selfless intent, and I could not agree more with that assessment. Mr. Jordan, indeed, is reflective of pure selfless intent. I don't know that the same can be said for the Republican alternative. Let's start with purity. Many of you have seen the reports that there are negotiations to determine whether or not on this side of the aisle there can be a deal, a meeting of the minds, a grand bargain that would allow us to proceed with the speakership. And I want all of my colleagues to know, regardless of your perspective on me, how impure some of those negotiations have gone. And I want the country to know the principal goal of the people who are objecting to Mr. McCarthy on the Republican side is that we don't believe the rules of this place unlock the potential of all of the members to be able to cast votes on individual bills and to offer amendments on Appropriations Act. And we're also concerned about spending that has ballooned our debt and borrowed against the future generations of American citizens. And Mr. McCarthy said, well, goodness to the objectors, a lot of you want to be on the Oversight and Judiciary Committee, and you never submit your names to be on the Rules Committee or the Appropriations Committee. And so, gosh, if you'll get a list of folks who are willing to come early on, mon on fly-in days for rules and folks who are willing to take on the extra burden of our appropriators who work so hard, then I'll certainly work to do that. And so we endeavored in good faith and pure good faith to create that list. And then what did Mr. McCarthy do? He went out to the media and came to other members of the conference and said, see, they just want jobs for themselves. That is not pure. Selflessness. Selflessness is not selling shares of yourself to the lobby corps and then doing their bidding at the expense of the American people. But there certainly is intent. And it's an intent driven almost exclusively by personal ambition. And that ambition is paralyzing the House now. Madam Clerk, at this time, there is great trust in Mr. Jordan. And that's why I am nominating him. And there is insufficient trust in Kevin McCarthy. There are some who have been objecting to Mr. McCarthy who are working on perhaps changes to the rules, changes to circumstance that would convert the speakership from the great, awesome, powerful position it is now to more of a ceremonial position, almost akin to the speaker in the British House of Commons. 
Uh, I referred to it previously as a straitjacket that some of us were trying to construct with better rules and better personnel because we do not trust Mr. McCarthy with power because we know who he will use it for and we are concerned it will not be for the American people. We trust Jim Jordan. I nominate him and I'm going to vote for him.